lovelies, welcome back to the channel. You can probably tell it's another absolutely stunning day here in Nevada. Yes, I am making my way over to San Diego today to meet up with the Onyx Off-Road crew and Marco Overland X. I have met him once in passing. I have talked to him for years and we're finally making a trip together happen. Now, why is Onyx Off-Road gonna be there? Well, I work very closely with them now and I have been doing a series called Go Further. Definitely go check it out. I'm going to leave the link in the description below. You're going to absolutely love these episodes. And if you've never heard of Onyx Off Road, it is a map app that you definitely should check out. And if you love to go trailing and wheeling and off roading, it's a must have tool. We're going to be crossing over into Mexico and doing some of the Baja. I don't even know if I've said that right. So don't kill me if I if that doesn't sound right to you. Not really sure what's on the agenda. And this is the first time I've really filmed anything that we've done with Onyx. So you're going to get my perspective, but you're definitely going to want to check out the episode when it drops on Onyx Off-Road. And don't worry, I will make sure that you guys know when that happens. Get to see how to use the app, I guess, the way overlanders use it. I'm not an overlander, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing how everyone else uses it. Anywho, is enough talking. Let's get to San Diego. Let's enjoy the time, the scenery, the beauty, and uh, yeah, let's start this adventure. Is it me or is it as soon as you see the welcome to California sign, everything just looks a little murky. Here's what's happened. In Utah, you don't need to register that little trailer because it's not long enough to register. Well, in Mexico, you have to have registrations for everything, otherwise they think that you've stolen everything. The title is not gonna work. The registration is what they look for. So we could have spent hours at the border trying to get this over, but probably be turned around. Instead of doing that and going through all of that, and trying to pay fines and get over and Marco kind of fighting my corner for me, decided to leave it with Marco's friend. So we're just very happy and lucky that he has a shop close by. He is now taking it. He's gonna take it for the weekend and good job I packed my little Wally Mart tent. I threw it in there for no reason. I was like, ah, just in case, thank goodness. Everything happens for a reason. So now we're gonna head on over and start our adventure. Oh my gosh, I just feel so terrible. Ugh. After all of that freaking outness, I didn't even get stopped at all. So we pulled off to the side. There's a sign that says Tijuana, Mexico right in front. It feels so different in such a short amount of time. Like it's actually insane, the difference. But uh, Marco got pulled over. The guys in the Sprinter van got pulled over. Marco's now here. We're just grabbing some more stuff so that Onyx can film further. But we gotta go. Holly, welcome to Mexico. 
Mexico. You're in Baja now. Why, thank you, Marco. Well, that was kind of weird, the devil's house. Apparently, people live in that. It's an American couple. And Marco told me to go check it out on YouTube. So guess what I'm doing when I get back? Checking it out on YouTube. It's so wild. Imagine being the neighbors to that. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. It is taco time. My stomach is grumbling so much. Carne asada. Carne asada. Dos, dos y uno con todo. We're going to have um, cow head tacos. Cow head tacos, yeah. Duh. Really good. It's just what you do. Dos y uno? Dos y uno. Looks really good though. It smells really good. Wow. Okay, so now that we just had the most incredible tacos ever, we're gonna go to the fish market. We're going to the fish market because we need to buy our dinner. And then I'm gonna go cook it with Marco. I'm gonna be cooking with Marco. I'm very excited about it. Whoa, we're coming into another big city. This is cool. <laughs> So you can rent these so that you can wash your fish. Yeah. Wow. Doesn't that look so good? Delicious. What? That looks so delicious. Oh my god, I'm not. You cut in little pieces mm. and you make quesadillas. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, yeah. tuna quesadilla. Oh my goodness. Okay, reminder I'm not here filming for my own for my own channel really primarily i'm here with onyx off-road so i'm not getting all the nitty-gritty cool awesome shots you're gonna have to go over to onyx off-road and get that but you just saw just i did touch a fish minuscule part of that fish market so fresh so awesome didn't smell fishy at all how can you go to a fish market and not come out smelling of fish or having that smell stuck in your nostrils because it's fresh fresh freaking fish from the ocean right there so that's how anyway we're actually going to head off and we're going to continue on to another market we need to grab some stuff and um yeah we need to get to the beach we need to get out of traffic as soon as possible so we're kind of on a bit of a time limit but i will say this already is making me want to come here at the end of the year come and be part of the culture and the food the food is awesome and check out the trails 
Okay, now it's time to make our way over to our first camping spot. It's going to be on the beach. Both nights are on the beach, but different locations. We're going to get some firewood. It's going to be a little cold tonight. You heard the man. It's going to get a little cold tonight, so we're going to need some firewood. This would be our camping spot. What? We're camping here. We're getting all set up to do the last part of the shoot for the day. Make some awesome food. And then hit the hay. It's been an awesome day. Marco already gave me my food. Oh, it is so good. Like a little chili out here, but having food is amazing. It was so awesome helping him do that. I mean, it's really cool. Yeah. We have a visitor this morning. Are you ready? Oh my God. Please don't bite me. Oh. Hi. Hi. Oh. Well, you can have that piece too. You can have this one too. Hey Hunter, you ready for another beautiful day? Yeah, I'm ready to go drive in the dirt. Should be good. Oh yeah, Baja and Baja. Oh, I smell, I smell a tad smoky from the fire last night, but oh, it would help if I switched the car on. <laughs> This part of the trip has been absolutely breathtaking, incredible, relaxing, still working. Remember, I'm here to work. There's been a lot of filming, a lot of stuff getting done. Um, but for me personally, this has just been so incredible. Waking up this morning, having some water and breakfast and just watching the I think it's tuna boats and the lobster divers they're all out there it's just I don't it's just ah I wish I I wish I had more words I guess we're just gonna have to deal with me going ah, 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 ah. we're out of location number one bye
I'll definitely be back here again. about today because today we get to do uh, an off-road trail. I don't have the Jeep. I'm feeling kind of weird about that. Putting Oma the Tacoma an off-road trail for me personally is a little strange, but this vehicle is more than capable of Guys, doing when we get to the military checkpoint, uh, don't use your radios, please. 10-4. We're stopping at a burrito place right now. Burrito. Burrito. La grula. I don't know if that's where we're going, but. Perfect. Now let's just try to park your guys' rigs out in front. So. Here we go. All right, looks like this is where I can get a Mischief Maker sticker and pop it on there. I'm already seeing a bunch of people with stickers who I know who have been here. So this is really cool. Oh, man, all those people who have been telling me to go to Baja for the longest time and I have been pushing back so much. I don't know why. Let's hop on out and see, see what's, uh, see what's good here. Stickered up, it's pretty cool here. Apparently all the Baja guys come here and do all of this, which is so cool. So super excited, but let's head on in and kind of check this place out. So cool. I do like this one. Yeah. This is You've a been, pretty iconic place. I can tell with all of the shirts and photos. And yeah, racers. Yep. That's um, it's all fish. Yep. We used to own this core international. It makes the hot racers. Let me tell you, if you guys come here, you have to have the crab burrito. It is the most delicious burrito I've ever had. Also, not a huge fan of Mexican food because apparently I've never had real Mexican food. The burritos in Mexico are absolutely divine and I could eat a million of them. But we have a trail to go on to, so no time for any more eating. Time to get on the trail. Okay, so we've got to the trailhead. It is now time to air down Oma the Tacoma's tires for the first time and uh, hit a trail. Should have an ear down here. Um, good old BFG. You would never think that it's been absolutely pouring with rain here the past three days. It is absolutely stunning. I have one more tire to air down and then 
we're gonna be hitting the trail. Okay, you guys have seen that I've been doing some Baja things in Baja. Um, I may be a little bit excited about this whole trail thing. It is incredible. Look at this. Look at this. This is actually not anything like I thought these trails would be out here. I know they're very different from uh, each side of the peninsula, but this, my friends, this is a whole lot of fun. We've just been cruising. I've been seeing the puddles. I've been going straight through them. It's Oma the Tacoma. She looks like she's been in Baja now. Look at her. Look at her. So disgusting. Holy fantastic. That's all I'm saying. Now we seem to be uh, heading straight to our stop at the beach. Gonna take a little while longer. Honestly, it's, wow, the weather's beautiful. It's t-shirt weather, it's not sweater weather here. And just all the greenery is just so, it's just making me so happy. I mean, look at this. Let's see what everyone else is thinking right now. Hey, beautiful hey. friend. How's it going? How do you feel? I feel great. Great. Uh, you got the track, you got the route, everything is I got clear. everything. That's everything awesome. is clear as day. I'm having a ball. I'm going through all the puddles. I'm not worrying. <laughs> I know. You crazy rock crawler. It's so much fun. <laughs> Marco has been incredible showing us the way. You are. Well, now I am, but <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. This is so beautiful. I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying this. This it's is like a... recharging my human battery. That's awesome. That's, that's glad, I'm glad to hear that. <sighs> so we're on now the road to almost the beach. There's almost this there. road and then we have one more turn. Yep. Okay. We're almost there. All right. Should we take it easy a little more? I know I was kind of going a little fast, but I was having fun. Now, if you see like branches or people, just slow down. Okay, awesome. All right. Yeah. All right. All right, let's go. I was waiting in the undertow. Set adrift with feather weight like bones. Unaware of where my heart would flow. I was waiting in the undertow. Can't touch the bottom. Sit into a tumble. Waves that shake me out. Out of my skin. So we find our camping spot. We're kind of, I've been eating, um, kind of just chilling out, setting up. We're waiting for the light to get better to do more shooting for Onyx. But Marco just gave me this. So beautiful. There is a house here. There are so many animals there like cockerels and little tiny birds and dogs and geese 
the chickens. But yeah. So what I think I'm gonna do is set up camp right now. Then I'm gonna head over there, down to the beach, get the sand in between my toes, walk in the water a little. Yeah. Never been so easy. Losing my direction. My bearings have me south of home. I've been wrong before. I was waiting in the undertow. Set a drift with fed away like bones. Unaware of where my heart. So I'm going to end up moving the tent back. I think it's going to be a little too windy out here on the front, but for now I have it set up here because of this. Like a lover who lost her touch At first I was hesitant <laughs> Are you deboning? Yes. Deboning? Deboning. Make things easier for you guys. Oh my gosh. Carne asada? Oh, open the fridge. Open the fridge? Oh, shrimpolinas! I know that's not a thing, but we'll make it a thing. Camarones! Hunter, why don't you enjoy my holidays? I love them. I, Shrimparinas! That's, that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we have some food on the go right now. Mmm. Marco is over here kind of cursing at avocados. These avocados are hard. He's like, you be that way, avocado. You be that way. <laughs> I walked away. Marco was like, no, no, I need you to whack the guac. Yeah. Now, I know I keep taking videos of the view from here, but to be honest with you, I'm loving this view. Someone's down there on a quad right now. And there's a seal somewhere here. And we just find these people. Well, they're not really people. They're just two puppies who have found their way. He looks like he broke off his chain. And the other one, I just don't know. I just tried one of the shrimp. Oh, Marco gave me one of the shrimp to try. So much flavor. And there's guacamole and all kinds of sauce over there. Tulip. We ended up all eating in our vehicles. It was really cold and the fire pit was set up for the interview and more filming later on that night. So we just kind of took a moment to ourselves, ate delicious food once again. It was just incredible. Well, as you can see, this is how TV and movie magic happens with a crew who knows exactly what they're doing and how to set a scene. You'll be able to see this little interview between Marco and myself on Onyx Off-Road pretty soon. Don't worry, I will tell you when everything is out so you can definitely go check that out. But after that, we all kind of hung out for a little bit and then went to bed. Well, 
We're almost packed up here, ready to start heading back to the border. I'm gonna tell you my thoughts along the way. But I've just taken this morning, honestly, to take it all in. And it's just been one of the most incredible few day experiences that I've had, so time to go. There's a lot of scraping noises coming from Oma, but I'm just going to do like I do in my Jeep, ignore it. <laughs> remembering I don't have a lot of clearance. Again, <laughs> I've said this so many times, this is a stock vehicle. This isn't a lifted Jeep on 42 inch tires. She's making it through. What's happening right now is that Marco could not find his camera, his Osmo camera. We turned his vehicle inside out and back to front and couldn't find it. Then I remember yesterday we did have his camera, but we put both of our cameras down so that we could film with Onyx and we just forgot to pick it up. So uh, I just dropped off my trailer to the top of this hill and uh, I stopped to get my Osmo camera and I couldn't find it. So we look all over the inside the Jeep and we couldn't find it. And then Holly remembered that I left it at the, the spot where we were camping, which is all the way down there. And I left it there and I forgot to pick it up. So I just uh, unhitched the trailer and I'm coming back down the mountain to go get my camera. Hopefully it's still there. I mean, there was nobody there, so it's gotta be there. So I'll keep you posted guys. Alright guys, so I just got to the ranch where we camped last night um, by the beach and because I left one of my cameras there by mistake and uh, what's the outcome? It's here. Find it! I'm so stuck. <laughs> He's on his way back up, so a trail that's taken us about an hour and a half to get up. He's gone down and come back up in about 15 minutes. We drove all day that next day, got to the border line. We were in line for a good five hours, then had to go from Tecate to Tijuana to cross over and another four hour line. And then I set off to you. Marco is such an inspiring guy and the whole Onyx team just made the trip incredible. Anywho, a little bit of a different episode. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you later.